Greetings from First United Methodist Church. Welcome to our children's message for this week. This week's message is from John chapter 3, verses 1 to 7. My name is Anne. Thanks for joining me today. By the way, we are in the second week of Lent. Keep that in mind as we move towards Easter when we're talking about the story today. In the Bible today, we learn about a man named Nicodemus who came to Jesus late one night because he was hungry. No, he wasn't looking for a late night snack. He was hungry for spiritual food. He was hungry for the truth about the kingdom of God, and he came to Jesus because he had questions, and he knew that Jesus would have the answers. Nicodemus reminds me of the book, The Hungry Caterpillar. In Eric Carl's book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, the story begins with a tiny egg on a leaf in the light of the moon. And then on Sunday morning, the sun comes up and pop, out comes of the egg a very small and very hungry caterpillar. And then he decides he's hungry, so he's gonna eat and eat and eat and he is still hungry, but finally he has eaten so much that he's had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through a green, a nice green leaf, and his stomach felt better. He built a small house called a cocoon, and it was like this. And he stayed in that cocoon for about two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole through the cocoon to pop out, and guess what? He became this beautiful butterfly. And it was just great, it was beautiful, and this is what happens in a transformation. Isn't that a wonderful story? The very hungry caterpillar reminds me of what Jesus said to Nicodemus. I think the very hungry caterpillar could help Nicodemus understand what Jesus said. Nicodemus said to Jesus, Teacher, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. No one could perform the miracles that you are doing if God were not with him. And then Jesus said something so amazing and confusing for Nicodemus. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, exclaimed Nicodemus? How can a man be born again? Jesus went on to explain to Nicodemus that a person is born again when the Spirit of God enters his heart. Humans can reproduce human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. And that's what it means to be born again. Let's think about the story of the very hungry caterpillar. When he came out of his cocoon, he was, very, he was a totally new creation, a butterfly. That's the way it is when we are born again. Let Jesus come into our heart and he makes us a new creation. Let's pray. Dear God, we praise you in Jesus. We are a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. today. If you want to dig a little deeper into the scripture passage, uh, look up on sermonsforkids.com with your parents' permission and download some of their activity pages. And look for our children's message up on Griffiths, First United Methodist Church's uh, Facebook page every Wednesday. And join us too in Facebook or in person uh, on Sunday mornings for our worship service at 11.15 a.m. Thanks for joining me today. Blessings to you and your family.